it's me again. And today is March 31st, 2022. As I talked about earlier in the month, and I predicted all I was expecting this month by the end is a letter from Meta uh, talking about the process. And I was hoping that they would give at least something about the uh, investor presentation. But the letter that was released by Meta this morning, I'll display it for you here or here. I'll find a place to display it for you. Uh, They do talk about the management team, finally, uh, which is under the guise of Hudspeth Operating, according to their LinkedIn. If you go to, like, Kyle Bradford's LinkedIn, it said Hudspeth Operating. And as confirmed before, this is NextBridge because these people also line up with NextBridge. Uh, I'm here today to answer some questions because there's a lot of FUD now and, and people panic when they see this stuff. Remember your training. We've we've gone over this quite a bit. My my anticipation and hopes for the dividend remain as high as ever. I'm very excited and it's extremely difficult for me to hold a lot of stuff in, you know, but it, it certainly makes me a lot more calm in this. And remember your training because I anticipated people freak out anyways when this PR would drop, uh, saying that, yes, the dividend is not coming anytime soon. Again, as I said before, and I've been saying for the past month now, uh, try to look to Q3, maybe early Q4 for the actual dividend payout. So there's an order of operations that has to be followed. There's a procedure to things. Uh, Like math, there's a specific order of operations you have to do to do this really complex equation. Let's break it down into the order of operations. And we'll start pulling at that string. Uh, I've been, my work has been so hectic lately. So that's pretty wild. Um, And it's been a huge, steep learning curve for this particular uh, type of project to manage. But I'm learning it. I'm, you know, as days go on and I'm exposed and I've been trying to figure this out, kind of like doing DD and, you know, how you start with a lot of stuff. You're just kind of running around, asking questions, going who's who. Um, I've learned that some people start searching with Google first. I tend to go, if I have access to people with more experience, I'll actually go to them first before I start searching Google. And I know a lot of people just go, oh, just Google it. But if I have a resource, like a person who has experience doing something, I immediately go to them. Um, That's my procedure of how I do stuff. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can uh, with my job. Um, While I'm waiting for some things to come in for my job. Okay, there is a procedure. This is how the procedure will go. Remember your training, okay? Okay. We're at one. They, they tell us it's going to take more time. We already knew that. We already knew that. Like I said, go to Q3 or Q4 for the actual dividend payout. But there will be a few things that will happen beforehand. Maybe you should remember. Don't forget your training. Use this as a guide. Here's, here's the tools. Uh, number one. Okay, number one, there has to be an audit. And the audit basically looks at the Meta's books and says, okay, yeah, we're taking this and we're going to spend this into the assets. It's basically just like them checking things off of a list, them going through the books, how this will affect, you know, future forms, what will be the outcome. There's their own procedure to follow. Once the audit is complete, they take that paperwork to the SEC and they look at it and go, okay, hopefully that won't take long. Maybe they're in that process now. I don't know. I hope they're in that process now. <clears throat> Number three, then we go spin out into Oil Co. Okay, this is where all the assets go off of Meta's books and they go into Oil Co. The spin out, which will be a private company, according to the 10K that Meta filed in March, and this letter also refers to. Once the spin out Oil Co. happens, MMTLP goes bye bye and it'll cease to trade and it'll be locked up in Oil Co. So now's your time b- between these steps if you want to acquire more MMTLPs and you're very gung ho about this dividend. 
Or if you're like, you know, I've had enough. I'm out. Tapping out. You tap out. You can go away. That's fine. It doesn't it doesn't affect the outcome of the dividend to me. And that's why I can remain so calm in all this. And no matter what people say, it does not affect the outcome of the dividend payment. I know what that property can be capable of. I've done the research. I know that several other companies are coming into the area because oil exploration, oil's at a time right now, it's at a price where exploration is possible. If oil's low, exploration is not as possible. I'm sorry for like the odd lighting in here. It's gotten weird. Okay, I had to adjust some lighting. All of a sudden I washed out. Uh, so I apologize for the lighting. So you have a choice to make. You know, you can buy more, you can sell it, or you can hold, or you can do nothing. There's four choices again. Do nothing's always the choice. It's not holding. Well, no, I'm not going to do anything. That's your choice. You know, maybe you're not involved in this play and you're an outsider looking in and you choose to do nothing. So you fall into that category. Four choices you have to make. Buy more. Sell. You're tired. Three, continue to hold. Four, do nothing. But MMTLP will pretty much go bye-bye after it, everything goes into oil co. Also, it has to go into oil co so they can begin the 2022 drilling plan that we talked about uh, that I think they'll discuss at the investor presentation. The 2022 drilling plan satisfies all the five wells that 2022 must do to satisfy that lease contingency. Might as well do it, and then maybe you can prove out the property some. Uh, but once they start proving out the property, the val book value of those assets change. And that's why you have to be in oil co. first. That can't be on Meta's books. You can't all of a sudden go from like, you know, starting. The, once that drilling happens, that book value of that asset goes whoop. It's at zero now, but it'll go up exponentially. Uh, so, again... Audit, SEC says okay, the spin-out happens, then everything else. MMTLP can go bye-bye. 2022 drilling plan can happen. Demonstration of the property, and then we can finally have a sale. Uh, that is the order of procedures. Again, my estimate of the dividend is 29 to 46. If it is over 46, I will not complain. But to be conservative, I will say 29 to 46. Not and if it doesn't come out to be that way, I will apologize. But so far, I was correct in that all we would get this month is a, is a PR letter saying that we're working on it. I know it's super frustrating. And that's why we remember our training so we can deal with that. And whenever you feel frustrated and you see a lot of FUD, know this. No matter what the FUD says or people try to do or say to you otherwise... This does not affect the payment or of the dividend and the outcome of the actual sale. Those two are completely separate from any variables you are experiencing right now. And knowing this gives me like that, ah, oh, yes. You know, I could walk away and just leave it. And that doesn't change the outcome of the dividend. But I won't walk away because a lot of people need guidance. So that's okay. Remember your training on this. There's, there's an order of procedures. Whoop. There's an order of procedures and this is how it's going to happen. So you can like print this out or make your own poster and be like, okay, we, we check it off. Once the audit's finished, SEC says, okay, okay, then spin out to oil co. The investor presentation could come any time between steps one and four. That's when the investor presentation can come any time. Really, steps one through five. It could come after the shares go bye-bye. Or it could come before the shares go bye-bye. You know, that's that's an interesting choice uh, depending on how they do it. I'm not sure when they will do it. If they'll do the presentation before the spin-out into Oil Co. Or after the spin-out into Oil Co. But, uh... Like I said, in terms of the actual payment, not the spin out into oil co share, which it says will be pro rata. Pro rata means you get the same value. There might be a conversion rate, but you get the same value as you had. So let's say you had X, Y, Z percent of Torchlight shares, you know, MMTLP. 
you had, you know, 0.002%. Well, now you're going to get 0.002% of oil co. The, the percentage wise will be the same. That's what pro rata means. Let's talk about financing. A lot of people are freaking out about the financing. As discussed, uh, there was a $15 million note which McCabe signed uh, for the benefit of Meta Materials, to which there was 7% interest. We actually talked about this document. There's 7% interest on it. So Meta makes a million dollars off that. About 7% of $15 million is a million dollars. That satisfied the 2021 lease agreement to drill those four wells and pay the oil co management team, Next Bridge, Hudspeth Operating, however you want to call them. Uh, they're kind of like me, like Roller Pigeons, Bird Lady. It's, it's basically all the same entity. Just don't call us late for dinner, right? Uh, if you looked at that 10K from March, the Meta 10K, it talked about 14 point something, you know, million dollars. And if you minused out the 15, you know, you were left with like 25 million. That's the 2022 drill plan, which includes five new wells. Five new vertical wells and then a bunch of lateral wells. And, of course, they got to prove out the property a bit before buyers plunker down the money because there are interested parties. Uh, if there weren't any interested parties, we would not see any horizontal drilling. Again, the you know, looking at the 10K, that $40 million, minus the $15 million for 2021. Or left at 25. How are they going to finance it? Okay. Oil code is going to be private, right? You can finance it a number of ways. I will talk about bank notes. Uh, so bank notes are basically like a loan between you and your bank itself. Um, kind of go Phillips has quite a bit of notes. That's how they finance a lot of stuff. There also might be some convertible notes too, which you convert the notes into shares. That's another type of financing. I don't necessarily see that, or it might not be as dilutive as you think. This would be based on, though, the actual price of the dividend, So, which would be interesting, and we don't know that price until there's a sale. So why I don't think that they're going to do really convertible notes, uh, I think it's more going to be a bank note. And then the bank note says, pay us back when you get a sale. And we'll talk about it then. Uh, is this going to affect the sale price? Not really. As I calculated before, we're you know, expecting a 29 to $46 dividend. That's billions of dollars in a sale price. Billions of dollars. As a result, um, you know, $25 million in that scheme of things is very small. Even with a billion dollars, $25 million is very small. Keep that in mind. And that's how you can pay off these notes. There's a number of creative financing tactics you can do. I've done quite a bit of creative financing myself with different scenarios. So in terms of, yeah, how you secure creative financing is, you know, it, it depends. Uh, there's certainly enough demand in, in new oil and gas exploration right now where I think a lot of notes people are going to dole out. They're like, yeah, I want this note. I'll take it. I'll take this, you know, I'll, I'll give you your bank notes because we're at a time now where we have never, we haven't been this independent in our own oil production in quite some time, you know, about a hundred years. <laughs> that was the last time we were this independent in our own oil production. As a result, uh, with the price of oil as high as it is, a lot of banks will, of course, uh, or financing entities. It doesn't have to be a bank. It could be a different financing entity. I mean, EIG could finance this. Um, you know, there's different ways you can do this. If Oil Co. is indeed private, maybe EIG will give a note. There's different ways we can do that. We know that a lot of these people from NextBridge have ties to EIG. Torchlight has some ties to EIG. Um, and EIG is, does finance a lot of stuff. Uh, they want to return on their investment, of course, but they do finance a lot of stuff as well. 
again, that's, I'm not too concerned about that. A lot of people are going to be concerned about, oh my gosh, how are they going to secure this financing? Look, it's $25 million and oil is a booming industry. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It seems like a lot. It's going to be okay. Look, I'm fine. I'm very confident. Like I said, I'm so excited about the potential of the Or Grande and the whole status of the market right now. It's, it's, and knowing how, what I've calculated out to be, you know, no matter what people say about the FUD and the financing, that's, that's just all noise. And that does not change the actual outcome of the dividend. Uh, 25 million is not that much in the grand scheme of things. There's, there's been financing for a lot more other stuff. <clears throat> And even if it comes out of the, you know, when it comes out of the dividend to pay back that that note, uh, that's a very small amount in the scheme of things. P.S. And as a side note, I do put my money where my beak is. As long as MMTLP keeps trading, I'm going to take this opportunity to buy more MMTLP personally because I do genuinely see it as a way to acquire more dividend shares i know there's a lot of fud against mmtlp evidence would suggest that this is indeed genuine although frustrating for many people i personally make lemons into lemonade and i see this as a way to acquire more before the shares stop trading again that's just me personally I'm not telling anybody to do whatever they, you know, it's your money, your choice, your money, your choice. But my personal tactic is as long as MMT is still trading and if it's at a great price, I will buy more personally because even with the delay, there's personally think that this will be an incredible ROI. And like I said, I don't, I'm, this is my own personal play. You're just following along with me on my own journey. This is my own thoughts. Okay, guys. I hope that answers some questions. And maybe I'll try to go live Friday night. We'll see. I will see you soon. Goodbye.